So this section, combine what you learned from all the previous section from this chapter. 2.1, you learned that there are n elements equally likely in a sample space, then each element has probability 1 over n. In 2.2 and 2.3, you learn how to determine the number of elements in permutation and combinations. So the probability of an event is the number of elements in the event divided by the number of elements in the sample space given each element is equally likely, which those are the problems you're going to do in this class. So here's the formula. Probability of an event is the number of elements in the event divided by the number of elements in the sample space. So let's do an example. I have seven coins, two dimes and five quarters, and I select two at random. What's the probability that they're both quarters? So we need two pieces of information, the numerator, which is number of elements in the event, and our event is drawing two quarters, and the denominator is the number of elements in the sample space, which is the number of ways to draw any two coins. So now we just divide that into two, two, two different problems, and we find out the number of elements in drawing two quarters, which is a combination, five choose two, and there's 10 ways. And this is a combination problem because there's indistinguishable between the two coins. So number of elements for any two coins is combination seven. We have seven coins to choose from and we're choosing two, so it's 21. And now we just simply divide them. So probably if two, drawing two quarter is the number of elements is two quarter, which is 10, divided by number of elements in the sample space, which is 21. So we're going to do a little more advanced problem involving multiple pool and multiple scenarios into calculating probabilities. So Harry and Sally are auditioning for a player along with four other males and two other females. The play requires three distinct male roles and two distinct female roles. If the actors are selected at random, what's the probability that both Harry and Sally are chosen? So here you can see there are male roles and female roles. So this is a permutation problem with multiple pools. And this permutation, because order matters, the actors are distinguishable between themselves. So I'll be using the slot method to solve this. So male row 1, row 2, and row 3, female row 1, and female row 2 for the five slots. To determine probability, we're going to again use this formula. First, we're going to determine the numerator, which is the number of elements in the event. And then the event is Harry's in and Sally's in. So here I have Harry fill the male row one. Two other male fill the other two rows. Sally fill female row one. And another female fill the female row two. Now, since Harry can also fill male row two or male row three, so you can think there's another possibility that is 4H3S2 and then 4H3S2. So because of that, we have to multiply this number by 3 to accommodate the fact that Harry can also be male row 2 and row 3. In the same way, Sally can also be female row 2. So we're going to multiply the entire thing by 2 as well to accommodate the fact that Sally can be female row 2 and the other female can be female row 1. So the total number of elements in the event is 24 times 3 times 2, which is 144. So then we move on to the number of elements in the sample space for the denominator, which is any three, ma three males and any two females. And five, four, three for the three female, for the three male, and three, two for the two females, and we just multiply across, comes out as three sixty. So therefore, the answer is one hundred forty-four over three hundred sixty.